thing, one thing. We have a video of this one that we need to get you to sign and have a pair of signs as well. There's a 20 on CIT posters throughout the uh, communities. We need to have uh, that done. Okay. This is next official. Yeah, yeah this, <laughs> is, <laughs> this is. Because what they're planning on doing is putting these posters up along the Broad Street. So the idea of the opening ceremonies is a celebration of the things that we do at Campbell Collegiate. And it's going to try to involve as many groups of Campbell students to perform uh, in any way possible. The players will get to perform on the basketball court, but not really at this opening ceremony. So that's where it's come from. Just so you Now, can we do that one more time? I want to try something different. Just for a change. When the drum sets come in, being the second page, everyone who's playing snare drum, play on the wrist. Just so I hear you differently. Okay? Great. Do it at the beginning again. Okay. Now you listen to everyone, because a lot of times it sounds like either one of us singing or you're not listening. So make sure that, because if you're not, it sounds like. Two, one, two, three. And. Drum Club, we started to provide an opportunity for students to get some more drumming experience who already played drums. But as in most bands, there's only one drummer at a time. Now you can have ten saxophones, but you only can have one drummer playing at a time, especially with jazz bands and things like that. So we wanted a place for more drummers to play and get some good practice and playing time. It's taking a little bit from what you would call drum line, like the marching kind of idea. Plus we've added in uh, drum sets, and we've sort of created our own fusion of rock and drumline and all that stuff mixed together. It's pretty special because no one's ever really just had a percussion ensemble in this school. It's always been jazz or choir or whatever else. So it makes a different sound and I think it's a cooler aspect. A nice different taste in music for whoever likes it. Well, we're sort of creating our own music. So I'm not sure what the style is. It's uh, it varies a bit, but what the piece we're working on for uh, CIT basically revolves around kind of a funk beat. Uh, we've got three guys playing drum sets and a whole bunch of people on snare drums and bass drums and toms, and it's sort of funk based and uh, just basically sets up a groove and then has some improvisation on top of that. Well, we're going to be playing at the opening ceremonies. That's our main job with CIT, and to, to uh, highlight the talents of the students in the school. The Drum Club is one of those groups that's going to be highlighted there. We're also going to have uh, dancers, choreography going on at the same time, at least we hope, if everything goes well in rehearsal today. Okay. That'll be good. And then uh, three of the drummers, uh, the three guys playing drum set, Ross and Cyprian and Kieran are going to perform also at the luncheon on Friday and at one of the halftime shows on Friday. Celebrating as a school, we're having our 40th anniversary of CIT and we're celebrating the talents not only of the basketball players and the athletes in the school but all the students that make up the, uh, the culture that is Campbell Collegiate. My expectation with the CIT event is hopefully to provide our 
talented student with as many opportunities to showcase those talents as possible. I know with the halftime shows and the luncheon and the opening ceremonies, a lot of students who may normally never have had anything to do with CIT are going to have an opportunity to be involved, show off their talents and show support of the athletes and the teams and the tournament at the same time. Expectations are high and everyone's expectations are met at the competition. So everyone should come on up and cheer us on. 